Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 8 on page 348. In triangle ABC, point D is the midpoint of vector BC and point E is the midpoint of vector AC. Vectors are marked as shown. Use vectors to prove that vector DE equals to half times vector BA. Step number one, write down RTP. This means required to prove. On the left-hand side, we have vector DE. On the right-hand side, we have half times vector BA. Now, think about the following idea. If you start with BA, you're pointing from B all the way to A, and that's equal to BC plus CA. So if you write this down, again, BA equals to BC plus CA. Now, if you keep going, vector BA equals to vector BC, which could be written as vector BD plus vector DC. Again, this makes sense algebraically because the inner letter is the same to both D in this case. And if you think about this graphically, activating that dual mindset, BC is there. And BD is going to be right there, plus DC, just like that. So again, activate that dual mindset. Likewise, if you think about CA, this is the same as vector CE plus vector EA. And again, this makes sense because CA looks like that. And this is equal to vector CE plus vector EA. Now, if you keep going, vector BA equals to, go back to the given. Let's highlight this for you. If you think about BD, BD, this equals to negative vector A. Likewise, if you look at vector DC, that's also equal to negative vector A plus, let's use a different color for you. If I'm thinking about vector CE, this is going to be the same as vector B. And again, vector EA, that's also going to be vector B. And again, we know this because we're given the midpoint and how they're equal. So now if you collect like terms, look what happens. Vector BA equals to negative 2A plus 2 times vector B. So again, BA equals to negative 2A plus 2B, or vector BA equals to negative 2 times vector A plus 2 times vector B. Now, let's zoom in for you. If you factor 2 to the front, there's a common factor. So again, I bring 2 to the front. I can switch this by writing down vector uh, B minus vector A. Now again, what does that really mean? This is exactly the same as vector D E. Let's go back to the graph so you can see this. Again, if you think about vector DE, let's use a third color for you. It's going to go from here to here. And vector DE is the same as taking B minus A. Again, B minus A. So therefore, you go back and you can divide both sides by 2, which means vector DE equals to half times vector BA, just like that. I hope this makes sense.